What time is it? It's hang time. Welcome to the first installment of Hang Time, a look at vintage and modern Star Wars posters, in particular, original movie posters. I'm Andy, part of the Holocronicles, and I am a vintage Star Wars collector, but a subset, a sub-collecting path that I've been on over the last 20 years has been vintage Star Wars posters. I didn't start off planning that, but... I have about, well, over 60 uh, posters and original movie posters from 1977 all the way up to modern times. My hope, my goal for doing this series is that you'll walk away a little more informed about what's original versus what's a uh, reprint or a bootleg, as well as generate a little more um, interest in these posters. Because I think when I say Star Wars movie poster, Everybody has one that comes to mind, which means they resonate, right? On some level, we respond to them. The poster over my shoulder here, the one that we're going to look at today, has a very long name officially. It's known as the 1977 One Sheet Teaser Style B Original Star Wars Movie Poster. This teaser poster came out in front of the movie, not when the movie came out, but leading up to it to generate hype, to uh, pick the interests of the viewers. There are two things about teaser posters that you need to know. They come in two styles. The first style is a single image with maybe a little bit of text or just the movie title, right? You're not gonna get a lot of information from a teaser poster by design. The second style of teaser poster is like the one we have here. It's only text. There's no image. In fact, there's just two things about this poster that we now know as definitely Star Wars, but in 1977, they were, they were new. They were brand new. So let's hit on those real quick. A long, long time ago, in reference to a sci-fi, seemed to kind of be opposing ideas. Right? Sci-fis are typically set in the future. There's this conflict of how do I sort that sentence out? All right? And then also in a galaxy far, far away, so somewhere else. But there's humans, there's aliens. A sci-fi set in the past, in a different place, you know, it'd stir up questions, right? It would generate some interest. And that's the purpose of a teaser. The second thing that this poster has, the logo the iconic Star Wars logo. These two things are now well-known, popular. Everybody knows when you say a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, they're talking about Star Wars. But at the time, in, in 77, both of these things were seen for the first time for many people on a poster you know, like this. So I think it's cool that the Style B poster is what a lot of movie theaters got out in advance. Let's take a look at some of the details about this poster a little closer, and we'll talk about what is it, what characteristics does it have that separate it from other bootlegs or reprints. All right, take a look with me as we go over some of the details here. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, this authentic advanced release style B poster features this epic tagline and is one of the rarer poster styles for the first film. This poster was designed by Doyle Dane and Burnback, who were actually responsible for hyping up the release of this film and came up with many rare poster concepts. Here are three tips you can look at to tell if you have an original or a reprint or a bootleg. The first is the size. This poster comes 27 inches by 41 inches. The second is to look for blurred or fuzzy letters, especially around the finer print. They should be crisp and clear all the way around. And lastly, and probably most importantly, this poster needs to have a small GAU oval-shaped union logo near the center of the bottom of the poster. The union logo appears on many 
original U.S. theatrical posters beginning around 1972. While it isn't on every theatrical release poster, it does definitely need to be present on this one to count it as authentic. Full disclosure, I had been looking for this poster for a couple of years with a reasonable price tag. Now, in that time frame, the prices for this poster has changed quite a bit. Just like collecting anything vintage, condition and rarity set the price. This is an average condition poster. It's not mint, right? If it was out of the frame, you'd see a couple of little tears around the border along the bottom. Um, there's a stain, a little bit of a stain on the back that fortunately you can't see through the front, but it's, it's an average condition. It's not mint, but it's not terrible either. All right. Mine came, uh, folded in this era. Most of the po posters were sent to theaters folded. All right. They came in an envelope, you know, a, a manila envelope and, and maybe more than one. But they came folded typically. The, ro the rolled ones from this era are more uncommon, at least for this, this poster here. I had finally found one at Star Wars Celebration Anaheim. This is a poster that you can find, you know, in reasonable condition anywhere from probably the low end around $800 to the high end, you know, depending on if it's folded, it's probably not going to exceed. $1,500, $1,600 rolled versions will be more expensive. And of course, the uh, the uh, proof print will probably even double that. So um, for this poster in, in good condition is probably $800 to $1,400. Uh, you know, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at one of the first Star Wars posters to ever come out. I love it. I love the simplicity. I love the teaser style of poster. Um, those are always, I, if you go through and do a quick Google search of Star Wars teaser posters, there's some of the coolest ones out there. And that's even including the modern movie posters as well in prequel posters. I'm so glad to have it in my collection. Please, please, when you're done watching this, comment down below. Is this some something that interests you? Would you watch more videos like this? Do you prefer the simple teaser styles or do you like the, the more grandiose? Let me know down below. Please like, please subscribe, please share with a friend, and thanks for hanging out with me for the very first hang time installment. Now, I have to go find some wall space for this bad boy because it can't sit here forever. This baby's got to get on the wall. Until next time. This has been Hang Time.